We're all struggling during these trying times and Pine64 presses on and has been working hard to fulfill orders in spite of the state of our world right now. With the latest run of Pinebook Pros going out amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, things haven't gone as smoothly as we'd all hope, and a couple of problems have cropped up so far with the latest shipment. I'm going to cover two such issues with the May-June 2020 run of Pinebook Pros, Wi-Fi not working, and an inability to boot. Stick around, I'll show you how to fix both of these problems. The issue? Pine64 can't provide their own quality assurance or quality control during the pandemic. They don't have access to the factory, and they may not even be able to enter the factories until September. It's not ideal, and no doubt the team at Pine64 are feeling frustrated or even potentially upset that some of these issues have cropped up. But like everyone else, they're doing the absolute best they possibly can during these difficult times. So what's the best that we can do as their community? I think it's to support one another and spread information to help each other to be able to get up and running quickly should we encounter these problems. Hopefully this information reaches you ahead of your Pinebook Pro shipment and that way you're going to know what to do. So let's get our maker on. First problem, a beautiful yet sadly unbootable Pinebook Pro. If your newly arrived Pinebook Pro simply won't boot, first thing you want to do is try to boot from an SD card. And if it boots from the SD, it's possible the eMMC storage is disabled with a hardware switch. And you may need to flip the eMMC disable switch. Unfortunately, it seems that while some of the current run of Pinebook Pros had that switch enabled out of the factory, which means their eMMC storage is physically disabled. And when I say eMMC, think of that in terms of hard drive, the storage medium within the, the Pinebook Pro. So let's open up our Pinebook Pro to correct this. First off, I've already removed the 10 screws just to expedite this procedure for the air. Uh, this is the hinge at the back, and I'm just going to carefully pry upward, but not all the way because the speakers are affixed with a double-sided adhesive. So I want to just kind of carefully reach in here and peel those off. So one over here and one here. And the reason I've done that is because I don't want to pull on these very, very fine wires that are connecting those. There we are. Okay, so now I'm gonna, oh, and I should mention, I have cut myself on these edges before. This is a very, very thin metal, and it is very sharp. So as you're doing this, be very mindful of that. Be careful. As I say, I have cut myself even live on the air on this, so I wanna warn you about that, okay? I'm gonna turn this around so you've got a little bit of a better view. And I want to show you, this is the eMMC chip right here. You can see I've got a 64 gig storage uh, medium here, eMMC. And that's just a chip that uh, you, can, you can remove and replace if you want, uh, but that's included with your Pinebook Pro. However, as we can see here, the switch is set toward the front. This is the switch that enables and disables the uh, eMMC. So what I need to do is take that switch and very carefully flip it toward the hinge mechanism. All right, so I've just flipped that over. And now it's as simple as that. Let's put this case back on, being mindful of the sharp edges. Always put the case back on before you flip it over, otherwise you may lose some of the internal plastic components that kind of elevate things. Flip that over and let's give it a test. So I'm going to carefully open up my Pinebook Pro and let's see if she boots. I've got a power light now, which is promising. It's turned green. And we've got the Manjaro logo, and we're booting up. Fantastic. And there you go. We're greeted with the KDE Plasma login screen on Manjaro Linux. So I'm just going to quickly log in here. And we should be good to go, right? No, hold up. Remember, I said there were two problems. We're in, but Wi-Fi isn't working. It's, in fact, not working at all. The way I can determine that, and you may go through this, 
is if you jump down to the wireless configuration, wireless network down near the clock, click that, and it's as if there is no wireless. Well, see, the reason why your Pinebook Pro Wi-Fi isn't working is because <sighs> the factory left the privacy switches on during testing. See, there's a Wi-Fi privacy switch on your Pinebook Pro. That's great, right? Well, you press the Pine64 logo while at the same time pressing F11, and then your Wi-Fi chip will be enabled or disabled. Now, the catch-22, though, is that the Wi-Fi chip is not hot-swappable. However, the privacy switch, being that it's an actual physical hardware switch, is cutting power to the chip. So upon turning it back on, it's not going to work. So even if you turn it off and on again, unfortunately that fix is not going to work in this case. When you press and hold the Pine logo and press F11, you're going to see a series of flashes on your numlock. Three flashes means that it's disabled. Pine button and F11. Two flashes means it's enabled. Remember, three flashes. One, two, three. My Wi-Fi chip is now powered off. Press it again. One, two. The Wi-Fi chip is now powered on. However, I still don't have wireless. So what I need to do now is I do, in fact, need to reboot my Manjaro Linux. Let's do it. Back at the login, and if all went well, we've solved both of those issues today. Let's find out. And almost to my desktop. Oh, I saw a Wi-Fi connection there. Click, and there we go. Wireless is now enabled. One last tip. When you're connecting to your wireless, if you have access to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, please connect to that. You're going to get a better signal. And uh, because we have shared frequencies between Bluetooth and the wireless adapter, if you go on a 2.4 gigahertz, you're going to uh, possibly, potentially, encounter other issues with your Bluetooth devices. So use 5 gigahertz if you can for your Wi-Fi connectivity. Now, no doubt this whole procedure is going to be improved in time, and it really only came to light because of the fact that the wireless privacy switch was enabled out of the factory. Uh, I believe that they're going to fix this with software in the future, so please watch for some updates. And for more help with your Pinebook Pro, check out their comprehensive wiki page on pine64.org. And if you can't find what you're looking for, they also provide a community forum, and they are active on Twitter, Reddit, IRC, Telegram, Discord, among others, and you'll find each at pine64.org.